OK, so in this video, we're going to calculate the Taylor polynomial for five terms with a function sine of x at the value pi over 4. And always good to remember what it is you're looking for when you're calculating a Taylor polynomial. You need to know how many terms you're going to calculate it for. So here is five terms, so which is also known as degree 5. So degree n, where n is now 5, because that's the degree that we're looking for. And the point a, well a in this case is pi over 4, and the function is sine of x. So here is a generic formula for Taylor polynomials, and that's what you're going to need to use here. So basically what you're going to do is, the ends we will substitute for 5, because that's the degree of the terms we're looking for, and all the a's will become pi over 4. So what it means is, we're going to calculate the function at pi over 4, so f of a is basically sine of pi over 4. We've got the first derivative of pi over 4, divided by 1 factorial, times x minus a, in this case x minus pi over 4. Then we've got the second derivative at a, which is pi over 4, divided by 2 factorial, times by x minus pi over 4, squared. And then here, you'll see now there's a pattern forming now. So the third derivative is at pi over 4, over 3 factorial now, and x minus pi over 4 cubed. So you'll see here, the first one we did here, there's a 2, a 2, and a 2. And now we've got 3, a 3, and a 3. Then the next term, we've got 4, a 4, and a 4. So it's the fourth derivative at a, which is pi over 4, divided by 4 factorial, and x minus a, which is pi over 4, to the power of 4. Fifth derivative, so it's the fifth derivative at pi over 4, divided by 5 factorial, times by x minus pi over 4, to the power of 5. And that's what we're looking at here. So the next stage is to draw a little table up with some values where we calculate the value of sine of x at pi over 4 and differentiate the function of sine of x five times and calculate each of those derivatives at pi over 4. So this is what we get to start with here. So the function sine of x and the value at pi over 4 is 1 over root 2. Now you could also say root 2 over 2, which is exactly the same value. But when we're dealing with our Taylor polynomial here, you'll see later that 1 over root 2 will have its advantages. OK, so the derivative of sine is cosine. And cosine at pi over 4 is 1 over root 2. So that equals the same as the sine value. Then we take the derivative of cosine and we get minus sine. And minus sine at pi over 4 is minus 1 over root 2. Third derivative is minus cosine, and minus cosine at pi over 4 is minus 1 over root 2. Now this should be pretty straightforward, because we've already calculated what sine and cosine is over here and here. So here we just want to put the minus sign in there. So that's pretty straightforward. And then the fourth and fifth derivative, you see we're back to the beginning values, sine and then cosine. So we started off with sine and cosine. Then it's minus sine, minus cosine, and then sine and cosine. So this pattern will go all the way down the list, all the way up to the nth amount of derivatives that you wanted to find. So your next two will be minus sine, and then minus cosine, then back to sine again. And you see the values here have obviously changed as well, because we're dealing with the same function. So sine of pi over 4 is 1 over root 2, and cosine of pi over 4 is also 1 over root 2. As you see, we calculated them on the first two lines here. So the next stage is we start to put the sum of the values into the Taylor polynomial. So you see here now I've substituted the n for 5 because it's the 5 terms. Then we've got f of pi over 4, so the value at pi over 4 for the function sine of x. The first derivative at pi over 4 over 1 factorial times x minus pi over 4. So that, those, that's where the a's have been substituted. Then the second derivative at pi over 4 divided by 2 factorial times x minus pi over 4 squared, and so on and so on and so on. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put some of these values of the derivatives that we found and put them into our formula. So let's have a too far ahead. So the value of f of pi over 4 was 1 over root 2. So that was there. 
and we calculated that in our table here. So we put that in the box there. And then the next one we had was the first derivative at pi over 4. So the first derivative at pi over 4 is 1 over root 2. So 1 over root 2 and then times the 1 factorial. So that's how we got from this to this. So that value was 1 over root 2, then the 1 factorial, and then x minus pi over 4. Second derivative calculated at minus 1 over root 2. So our second derivative is minus 1 over root 2 times 2 factorial in the denominator. So minus 1 root 2 times 2 factorial, x minus pi over 4 squared. So that takes care of that one. So the third derivative one we want is the third derivative minus 1 over root 2. So minus 1 over root 2 times 3 factorial. And then multiply that by x minus pi over 4 cubed. Then the next term we got, the fourth one was 1 over root 2. So you see 1 over root 2. Then that times by 4 factorial in the denominator. x minus pi over 4 to the power of 4. So that takes care of that. And the fifth one again is 1 over root 2. So 1 over root 2, this time times 5 factorial, x minus pi over 4 to the 5. So we can see we can simplify some of this stuff out because we can multiply out what the factorials mean. So we have got root 2 times 1 is root 2. Root 2 times 2 factorial, well 2 factorial is 2, so it's 2 root 2. So 2 root 2 goes in there. And then the minus 1, we'll flip that sign there, then we can leave just a normal one. So therefore that minus will go into there. We don't need to write the 1, so we just bring the x minus pi over 4 squared into the numerator. Same with the cubed part of the function. So minus 1 over root 2 times 3 factorial. 3 factorial is 6, so that gives us 6 root 2. And then we've took this minus sign, put it here. And then the 1 we don't need to write, so it's x minus pi over 4 cubed. Same with the fourth term, the, the power of 4 term. 4 factorial, 24, root 2. So 24 root 2. So x minus pi over 4 to the power of 4 divided by 24 root 2. And the same here. 5 factorial is 120. 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 is 120. And it's 120 root 2. So x minus pi over 4 to the power of 5. And there we go. And that completes our answer. So our Taylor polynomial is this. So 1 over root 2 plus x minus pi over 4 squared minus x minus pi over 4 squared divided by 2 root 2 minus x minus pi over 4 cubed divided by 6 root 2 plus x minus pi over 4 to the power of 4 divided by 24 root 2 plus x minus pi over 4 to the power of 5 divided by 120 root 2. Okay, and that's your answer. Thanks for watching and any comments leave below. Thanks very much.